Nobody's boobs sit like this. I got them heavy boobs, heavy boobs. Dance like dying stars. I got them heavy boobs, heavy boobs. I can't run real far. What's up, YouTube? Jane Domoto here. And I just wanted to go over a couple things with everybody. So I was recently looking for different writing gear because I have a jacket that I normally wear and it's pretty hot outside. So I was looking for something that would be a little bit more breathable, a little bit lighter for those days when it's a little bit warmer outside. And um, what I found when I was looking online is that girls are at a serious disadvantage when it comes to writing gear. So when I was looking for stuff online, there were no reviews. Half the time you couldn't even find information on the products. Um, you know, and then companies make stuff for girls, but then they don't make like the other part of what you need. So there's two particular products that I was gonna go over. One is the Stella Bionic by Alpine Stars. It's the Stella Bionic jacket. It has a back plate on the back. It has shoulder pads up here. You got the elbow pads and the side arms. And then you have this breastplate on the, on the front. The other one is the Icon Field Armor Striker Vest. And guys have a very similar product um, that I'll show you as well. My boyfriend actually has the Icon Striker rig in um, Hutch Johnny Rocket. You've seen, seen him in some of my videos. Um, but I saw that one, and I really liked what that one felt like, what it did. Um, I liked the way it looked. It looked a little bit more like the Alpine Stars jacket. My first thought. So let's go over what both of the products offer, and then I'll tell you what I thought of each one. So starting with Alpine Stars Stella Bionic jacket, this one has, and I'm just reading this. I have no idea what any of this stuff does really. Grid technology, which makes it lighter and more breathable. Soft touch BNS puller for an easy and safe engagement with the BNS. Kidney belt system. Removable back padded panels. Accommodate fitment of Alpine Stars BNS. I don't know if that sentence could have been any more redundant. Premium auto locking YKK zippers. Stone shield, level one protector, level two. Back protector CE certified. Eh, special ergonomic for women shaped chest. We're gonna go over what I thought of that in a minute. And then shoulder and elbow PU foams, soft formulation and channeling design for more flexibility, whatever. That's how they go over it. So let me show you what this fitment is like. So here's the thing. From what I've seen, not a whole li lot of women writers have coconuts. A lot of them don't have like bazookas up here. So just for reference, I'm 5'2". I wear usually a 36D or, or sorry, 34D or a 32 double D. Um, so there's a lot of stuff that like doesn't really fit me properly. So let me show you. Oh, and I'm wearing at first glance when I put this on I'm like all right this is cool this is interesting okay like fits decently on the arms fits decently down here but then I go to put the belt on this is where you're supposed to wear the belt do we, do we see a problem with this? Do we, what is this? What is this? What is happening? Okay, then we, then we got the back. Back's still looking pretty good, but, but what is this? So here's my issue, Alpine Stars. <laughs> this panel is made for women who don't have boobs. And the problem is when you have boobs, they sit further off your body, causing this plate to stand up about an inch off your body. <laughs> so here's the thing, this is where you want me to wear the belt, but to make this fit and feel like it's fitting properly, I have to move the belt under the plate and lock this plate down. Then what happens <laughs> is it's sitting right on top of my diaphragm and I can't breathe properly. So that's the Alpine Stars Bionic Jacket. So if you're around my stature, 5'2", 
Um, you know, I'm about 140 pounds. I've got broader shoulders than, than most females. And if you have coconuts, then the Cillabionic is probably not gonna be right for you. Let me have my friend come in and try on this one and we'll show you guys what that one looks like on her. Okay, everybody, welcome back. So now we've got my friend Flexi Lexi over here and she is, how tall are you? You're like my height. Five, five. Five, okay, she's five, you're taller than me? Yeah. Okay, she's five, five. Um, she, you can definitely see I'm a little bit uh, more, um, we're not gonna say fat. We're not gonna say yeah. fat. What I've got, I'm a little more thick. <laughs> um, so we're gonna have her put this on. How much do you weigh? Uh, Don't ever ask a girl this if you're not a girl. How much do you weigh? About 130. Okay, 130 pounds, 5'5". Five five. So we'll have her put it on and tell us what she thinks. For reference, this is a size medium Alpine Stars Bionic jacket. I forgot to say that. So she might need a small, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. She's got a long sleeve shirt on, so maybe not. <laughs> see, that's perfect for you. No. No? It's oh, no. see, you still get the lift. Yeah. Even your boobs are too big. I don't have any. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, okay so let's, uh, let's show them what the belt's supposed to look like. Okay, so if you look at her, she's got the chest plate and then the belt. So there's a little lift for her as well. So here's the thing. <laughs> I'm a little disappointed, Alpine Stars. I expected a little bit more than this. Like, what? Can you turn? Real quick, turn this way. Come towards me. Like, what? What is this? Why? Uh -huh. Why? It does. I so now. <laughs> probably fit into boys' training bras. Right. <laughs> like, she, she just said, in case you didn't hear, she just said that she probably fits in a boys' training bra, and yet we still have this horrendous lift coming off of the chest. So, uh, <laughs> Alpine Stars, it's not ergonomically correct. Nobody's boobs sit like this. That's not a thing. They sit outward. <laughs> so I'm just, I can't, I can't. We're gonna, we're just, how do you feel in it? Tell me how you feel. Come, come this way. It's extremely tight here, and then loose here like so yeah that that was my thought too so it's extremely tight on the arms yeah loose around the abdomen a little loose on the elbows i guess that's okay but a little loose on the elbow and then my shoulders are a little bit more broad too so it sits a little tight there too yeah the shoulders actually look okay on you but i just i don't like what why what is that and i tell you if you look at all the videos on revzilla it doesn't look like this like, this is real people. We're not paid to do this. Like, we are real women who ride, and this is, this is just, what is that? Okay, so go ahead and take that one off. While you take that one off, we're gonna talk about the Icon Striker. So this is the Icon Striker Vest. It's called the Field Armor Striker Vest. All right, so we're both disappointed with that one. That's kind of the feeling I got. But if you don't believe us, it's still five out of five on Revzilla.com. That's not a plug, I'm just saying. All right, we can just we can just put this one right here. That'll be the sad pile. Okay, so the striker vest is C E approved striker back armor. Let me show you. D3O breathable back insert with custom mold and icon geometry. I don't really know what that means. It just sounds neat. Articulating injection molded hard back armor with airflow channels. Okay, we're still in the back armor. Vented biofoam with air mesh chassis. I, I don't know. Hydro dry moisture wicking liner. Highly adjustable waist and shoulder straps. Low profile design fits under most jackets. Women specific fit. Okay. That's what they say. So, let me show you the fit on this guy. Okay. So this one, oh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this on with the helmet. Here, let's try. 
I didn't, oh, okay, okay. I hadn't tried that yet. Okay, I'm gonna need an assistant though. Can you plug me back in? I can't see that. <laughs> okay, that's good. All right, so we got it on. Usually you just put it over your head, but um, obviously I have a helmet on my head, so it's not gonna happen. Then you take these straps, like so. This strap, like so, if you have coconuts like I do, you might need to, you know, push them down a little bit. I can't tell if this is on the thing because I'm not looking in a mirror. I think it's there. Okay. So here's the fit on the vest. So I told you guys, if you follow my Instagram, I told you guys there was one I was super disappointed with and one I was super stoked on. The one I'm super stoked on is the vest. I don't know if you can tell, but it fits me well. It doesn't feel like I can't breathe up here. It doesn't push my chest down too much. It feels like there's more protection up here on my chest. And then the back comes down low enough to feel like it'll protect my spine, but it doesn't come down low enough to inhibit my ability to move or lean on the bike. So Icon, two thumbs up. Really, really like this product. If you're a girl and you're looking for a more lightweight product, this would be the one I would recommend to you. I'm gonna have Flexi Lexi try it on as well, but there's one more thing I wanna show you. So if you're in this type of vest, obviously you don't have any protection here. I didn't like that, maybe you will. But I actually found these at a local motorcycle shop today. They're by Liat, or Liat? How do you say this? Leet. Leet? By Leet. And these are Elbow Guard Leet 3DF. 5.0 and these are medium but these are like a soft gel technology they're still CE approved and these you just slide right on like this hopefully this is the right arm that's the left arm so but super super flexible fits really well with the vest I feel like my elbows are covered if I fall um, obviously here I'm kind of taking some compromises, but you know, overall super happy with both these products. And now for my super cute assistant, Flexi Lexi, and this is a small medium Icon Striker Vest. They only make uh, really two sizes that I saw for women, and that's small, medium, and large. <laughs> Large, extra large. So you, you really don't get much choice here. It's either you get a small, medium, or a large, extra large. So for her, it's a little bit looser under here. Let's fix this one and make sure. So it's a little bit looser under here. She's got a little more room than I do. It still looks like it fits you pretty good, though. I like this one a lot better. So she likes this one a lot better. Um, so you would say it's a lot more comfortable than the Stella as yeah. well yeah this one is a little bit disproportionate throughout the thing There's right parts that were loose and parts that were extremely too tight right and that was kind of my feeling too is it just wasn't quite as ergonomic as they had made it out to be um it was tighter in areas looser in some and it just it just was not a good overall fit so i think the winner of this review is the icon striker the wiener <laughs> The weeder of this review is the Icon Striker Vest. Um, they also make it for guys. They also make uh, this crazy rig looking thing for guys that is like the step up from this version. My only complaint with this, so Icon, if you're listening, this is my complaint with this. Men have the Striker rig. We don't. Why is that? <laughs> so we get the Striker Vest, that's awesome. Stoked on that. Where's our rig? So here's a striker rig while we're on that. So you can see it's got full length arms, all the same technologies, and then some. So this covers the full upper body. Whereas the vest doesn't cover the full upper body, we still have our midriff present. And then the back, we get the good coverage. But my only other complaint is that, so for the striker vest for guys, they have matching elbow pads. 
Women, if you want to buy elbow pads that match your vest and you get the pink and black version, it's not going to happen. So we get pink and black or black. We don't get matching elbow pads. You'd have to buy the guy's version, which is black and red. So again, Icon, if you're watching this, where are our elbow pads? Can we get some elbow pads in black and pink and some black? Good point. So Flexi Lexi said, so this one also curves a little bit more. Maybe, how long have you had this one, Johnny? So he's had this for two years. So maybe it'll flex more with time, but the vest doesn't quite have that flexibility yet. So maybe they'll, you know, maybe it's over time that that happens. I don't know, but you know, we'll see. But overall, I think between the Stella Bionic and the vest, I think the vest wins. So again, if you're looking for a lightweight product um, to ride around in on this, the hot summer days, I would go the vest and some elbow pads before anything else. All right, YouTube. Well, thanks for watching this review of the Stella Bionic and the Icon Striker Vest for women. Really happy you all could join us today. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button, and we'll be showing you more stuff soon. Two trailer park girls go round the outside, round the outside, round the outside. Smash. We've got a bogey. I'm on the way. Like and subscribe. <laughs>